Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna try to do a quick little bloom on this seven-ish inch round. Um, I wanna try a rich gold cell activator with white. It's been a while since I've tried to use them together. So, even though this is a gray pillow paint, I think I'm still gonna give it a shot. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use the some of the new Vivid Intense colors and um, I'm going to use Bordeaux. I'm going to use Titan Teal, which is going to be a favorite of mine. I'm going to use Payne's Gray. So this is the Vivid Intense Fluid Acrylics from Color Art. I'm going to use the custom color I mixed in the video, which is Chantilly Lace with the Titan Teal. So it'll have some subtle shimmer. <clears throat> um, I need to use this up, so I'm going to use some Indigo, which is a Bling It color from Color Art. And I'm probably going to use a little Burmese Red for some added sparkle. So, unfortunately, I think this pillow might be a, a wee bit thin, but it'll probably be all right for this small surface. Okay, so I'm gonna do this indigo. I'm just gonna kind of swirl it around on the bottom. I'm mostly including it because it sort of goes and I need to use it had it mixed a long time. It's in my use up paint pile. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use a little bit of the Payne's Gray down here and a little bit more at the top. Just for some color saturation. And I'm going to use the custom color I made, which is a little bit thick. That's why I want to put it down here. It's the Chantilly Lace with the Titan Teal. <clears throat> I'm going to use some Burmese Red here. And then... Um, I'm going to use some Bordeaux. <clears throat> um, some Titan Teal. If I was using a darker cell activator, I would want to put the Titan Teal underneath it. But since I'm going to use a white and a gold, I'm going to put the panes at the top so that it has some contrast to kind of cling to. So I'm going to use um, M Graham Titanium White and Rich Gold Atelier <clears throat> Interactive for my cell activator with Australian flow trawl, of course. I'm gonna to try to blow it out with my mouth, which is, I don't always do the greatest job blowing out a double cell activator myself. And one of them is a thicker metallic, so we'll see how this goes. I'm just trying to do a little, little quickie one really quick. So this is, this is the white. And I'm adding a pretty hefty amount just because the metallic is usually heavier, so I had to mix it kind of thin. This is the metallic. And I want to make sure it doesn't all sink and have nowhere to go. So I might be adding way too much cell activator, but we'll see. All right. <clears throat>
That's my dog. Okay, not terrible. Still have a lot in the middle. But um, if, if you're familiar with Atelier Interactive Cell Activator, the metallics take a while to develop. Actually, all of them take a while to develop, but especially the metallics. So I'm not gonna stress too much about what's in the middle. I'm just gonna pop any major bubbles and go ahead and blow it out. Um, not bad for, for a self blowout. I watched a live the other day that Shelly did and she gave some really helpful tips. So I've been trying it, to practice it since I watched it. That's why I wanted to do this little one and see if I'm still making any progress. And if I have time, I'm gonna do a 10 incher, but I'm gonna use the hairdryer probably for that. Kind of messed up right there. Okay, so I had to switch to a voiceover, but um, where I blew in the center, where I had all that cell activator, I'm kind of thinking I should have just left it and let it develop. Uh, I don't know if you remember it, several videos back, I tried to duplicate something where I used a white cell activator and a copper atelier uh, cell activator, and the center got all crazy, and I was trying to fix it and then it got all weird looking. So that's kind of what this one ends up doing. And the bloom would be pretty otherwise. So don't go anywhere because I'm gonna do a bloom on a 10 inch round that's just really quite nice in just a second. But I wanted to process with you guys because I kind of think, you know, I was telling you how the center takes a little bit to develop with Atelier. I was kind of thinking I should have just left it and let it develop on its own and then it probably wouldn't have gotten so weird. So anyway, um, I'm not being critical of myself. I'm just telling you guys how I'm processing um, what I probably could have done differently. So I'm obviously going to pour over this bloom. I let it dry, but I'm, I am gonna pour over it, but I am gonna use the same colors on a 10 inch canvas round in just a minute. And um, everything went beautifully I, I went ahead and used the hair dryer and the double cell activator with the hair dryer. The results were just way better. Um, so here's a close up of this one. So you can kind of see the colors. The colors are gorgeous. And I love the color of the rich gold. I love, I love a bright yellow gold. Um, so I love the color. And um, I, I really am grateful that Shelly's been sharing blooms that she's been doing with the double cell activator because um, for the most part, I've only really had success with this as a double CA on swipes. So it challenged me to try it again. And so here we are with the 10 inch. This is a Frederick's, <coughs> excuse me, a canvas from Blick. And I'm going to go ahead and use my white pillow paint this time. Um, and I'm going to pretty much use the same colors. Now, one thing, um, I hate to like, um, Give away the story but one thing i am using up two colors so the indigo um the, which is kind of the lighter bluish purple color and the custom color i made um are both mixed a little too thick because they were older and so because those two colors were so thick my bloom ends up cracking kind of in the center where my cell activator lines are <laughs> which was fortuitous because I was able to fill in the cracks with the gold. Um, so the only bummer though is I really love the way the lacing and the cells are with the white and the gold at the end of this bloom because they're so delicate and where I had to kind of fill that in, it, it became a lot more gold. It's still really beautiful, but um, now I kind of want to do um, another bloom with the double C8 because I, I want to see how it's going to do when it doesn't crack, you know, but that's that indigo color I just put down is thick and there's a lot of it. And around this area is where it cracked. So 
you know, I don't get cracking a whole lot these days anymore, but it does still happen to the best of us sometimes. And um, at first I was like, oh, it's not very obvious, but it was because you could see the canvas. So this is that custom color I made, and this is also mixed a little thick. So I put them right next to each other like I should have known better. You know what I mean? So this is like the crack zone right here. <laughs> so this is going to be the Burmese red. I did layer it a little bit differently um, for this one, and I put the Burmese red at the bottom. And I used, um, just because it's such a deep, rich pigment, I used a little bit less of it so that it wouldn't completely take over because I wanted you to see the other colors in the bloom. And uh, this is the Bordeaux. Um, I'm just slinging paint everywhere, you can see. But I, uh, I've been having a lot of fun kind of practicing my blow myself, but also using my hair dryer and seeing the different effects that you get, especially on a larger surface. So, you know, I want to do some more 12 inch rounds. This is the, um, teal, Titan teal from color. Art. I love this color. I'm going to be loving it on the regular basis. This is Payne's gray from color art. Also just a beautiful Payne's gray, you know, like, I hate it when Payne's gray is gray. I want it to be blue with a little bit of a gray tint. That's what Payne's gray should be. So I hate it when it's gray. Like Amsterdam's Payne's gray is gray. And, you know, like if you're using it as a cell activator or something, then it's like kind of like a soft black. So that's okay. But as a color, I'm like, that's just gray, you know? So I like a good Payne's gray that's got a nice blue um, color. So I'm off my soapbox now. So we've got the white cell activator, the rich gold cell activator. I don't remember if I used M. Graham white. I think I did. Or if I used Triart. I think I used M. Graham. So all I'm doing with my mouth is just enlarging my target a little. Which I did a pretty good job. Look how enlarged it is. And then my baby Liss hair dryer. Um... You know, when I first bought this hair dryer, I was like, this hair dryer is 90 bucks. I cannot. But then I just waited until I had like a gift card and I was like, mm, I think I'll try it. Um, because I'd seen other artists use it and it seemed like it was like the perfect kind of force and width. And it really is a nice hair dryer for blooms. It, you know, you don't have to use that one. There's others like... Um, me and the, I have a Yeho. We've never gotten along that great. I think that, um, I just, it needs more practice, but like the little Berta hair dryer is, is good for, you know, some blooms and but like, look at the great lacing and cell coverage we got with that. You know, you kind of hit the major areas and then get the rest with your breath. Um, and see how much better the center is compared to the little bloom. It was just, I just love the way it evenly moved it. And you got this really cool lacing and cells and you got this pop of gold. Um, I was loving this bloom. And so I was super bummed that I had to like put all my stuff away uh, after this. Because I was like, you know, like once you have a nice, successful pour, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be a bloom, but whatever it is, after you've been like, maybe not doing that great, you're like, yeah, go get another canvas. <laughs> Let's strike it while it's hot, you know? So you can see um, those beautiful colors. You can see that Bordeaux color with that kind of pop of a red color. And then the Burmese red is kind of got that wine color. Just a really gorgeous color combo. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this one. I'll share a short of the resin results later on. I've already resined it because um, I had to fix it. You know what I mean? I'm trying to do better about getting on the ball and getting things resined. But anyway, thanks for hanging with me with the first one. I don't know that I'll call the first one a fail, but I, I it's not going to live. So we'll say failed it, nailed it. I really do like this one. You'll see in the close-up, there's a lot of really cool detail in it. You'll have to let me know what you think. Don't forget about the discounts in the description box below. We've got 20% off for color art, um, all kinds of stuff in there. So here's the close-up. I just really like it. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check the description box. I know I talked too much and I didn't give you guys all the details, but 
Let me know what you think. Do you do you like it? I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching and hanging with me. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.